What's up everyone, it's Draco Entertainment back yet again with another small indie game review. The place where I show you straight up gameplay, my opinions and whether it's free or not so let's jump straight in. Ever wanted to squash bugs but didn't have the guts to do it? Well now you finally can. Today we take a look at Bug Splat, developed and published by Blue Dot. In this small indie game, you splat your way through 10 bug busting levels. Each level has a different type of bug to combat, from spiders to leeches to cockroaches to name a few. Now you start off with a simple newspaper as your weapon, but as you splat away you get to upgrade them such as your weapon turning into sandals or hammers and even a gun. You do get a time limit to crush as many bugs as possible and the more you crush you get bonus added time added onto your overall time. So you do get to kind of test your skills and speed against a variety of crawlies and always trying to better your score. There was two problems I had that was frustrating to me. One, the stages start off too slow in my opinion. The bugs really don't start appearing in masses in the first 10 or 15 seconds, which can be frustrating especially when you're chasing a high score. And number two, I felt a lot of the times the heat markers were off the pace as in I was trying to hit bugs many times but it wasn't actually registering my hits. However, what I did like about the game is the fact that it had a variety of bugs and it was really fun trying to squash them all. Towards the end, it does get really frantic and it's really hard to keep up with the pace of the bugs because they come from left, right, center at you on your screen. Now, some stages does have bumblebees and flies coming at you and you have to kind of hit them with your hand like you normally do but miss them and it starts eating away at your health which does add a layer of challenge in my opinion. In one of the latter stages you do get a shotgun which turns into a semi-automatic gun and it was fun trying to shoot the bugs everywhere however you do run out of bullets so you gotta be careful not to spam the button. Now in terms of graphics and sound, graphically the game looks really good, it's got a very arty feel to it. Especially the bugs, I liked how cartoony they looked. It's very colourful and it's really on your face. In terms of sound, it's very simplistic. I mean you get a squishy noise every time you crush a bug and you got very basic sound effects in terms of what weapon you're using, like your clapping noise when you're using your hands. So overall, sound and graphics were really good. So if you're looking for an indie arcade game that is frantic, I suggest you go and give this a try. I enjoyed it a lot going through all the stages. I think it would have done a better job if it had more levels to it because it only has currently around 10 levels. But it's still enjoyable nonetheless. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to stay updated with the latest small indie games right here on this channel.